So, nope, this is uh, read number 24 off of your homework. So it says, if you invest 1.5 million um, at an interest rate of 8%, how long will it be till the account exceeds 3.75 million? Um, and I'm sorry, that's compounded quarterly. Okay, so if it's compounded quarterly, um, quarter. Quarterly. I can't spell. Quarterly. Court. There we go. No blooper. There we go. Quarterly. That makes sense. All right. Um, so, what we need to exactly do in this case, guys, is understand that it's either going to be our compounded interest or our continuous interest. And so, for our compounded interest, we have our. A equals P times 1 plus R divided by N raised to the N times T. All right, so remember A represents our future value. So that's going to be 3.75 million. $1.5 million is our principal. Well, we'll see. Would that matter? I mean, think about as far as the ratio, and I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you at the end. I'll show you next. Well, I'll sh I'll explain. So now we need to plug in one plus our rate, which is plus point zero eight quarterly. It's going to be four times a year. Raised to the n, which is our number of compounds, which is four. And then t, which is going to be our variable, which we're not aware of. Now, so we need to solve for t, which is up in the numerator, right? So first thing we need to do, though, is isolate the exponent. If you guys remember in your quiz, if you have an exponential function, isolate the exponent. Then try to use the one-to-one -one property. If you can't use the one-to-one -one property, then you convert it to a log. logarithm. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to divide by 1.5 million to isolate my variable. Now, is 3,750,000 divided by 1,500,000, is that ratio going to be the same thing as 3.75 um, as 3 divided by 1.7? Yes, it is. So to answer your question, it doesn't matter. You could just write the 3.75 because the rate, it's a, you're basically going to get the same value. Okay. Yep. No, 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 I, I, but I wanted to, I didn't want to put it that way and then have to go backwards and answer the question. I wanted to present it this way and then show you that, yes, you can shortcut it that way, absolutely. So we have 3.75 divided by 1.5. That gives me 2.5. And then I'm going to add these up. So 0 0.08 divided by 4 plus 1, 1.2. Okay, does everybody see what I did so far? Now we just need to solve for t. Should I use the one to one property? Does it, does it look like it's gonna be easy to raise 1.02 and 2.5 to the same base so I can raise it to a power? Yeah. Nah, it doesn't seem too much fun, right? So what I can do is just convert this to a logarithm. So I can say log uh, base 1.02 of 2.5 is equal to 4t. Now, I can use the change of base formula. You can use log, or you can use um, natural log. So I'll just do ln of 2.5 divided by the ln of 1.02. And I get 46.27 rounded. And then I'll just divide that by 4. I get 
So depending, they didn't really ask for the time frame. Um, they didn't say how they wanted the time, though. Yeah, I mean, you could say 11.57 years, you know, but yeah. Huh? Doesn't matter. Do it, do it with logarithm. You'll get the same answer. Anybody have any other questions on that?